YouTube, Uncle Lucky here, and welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Quiz and Art. Today's Off the Cuff is going to be kind of themed because it just so happened that all these different uh, Batman comic books dropped, and I picked them up as I was going along. Um, yeah, Batman's just... I haven't been to, into Batman comic books in a long time, really, to tell you the truth. I mean, I love Batman. I, I have collected a ton of Batman over the years, but I... I got out of Batman for for a while, and then I jumped in because I really, really love the art of uh, Capullo. Just a phenomenal artist. I, I mean, as you can see, he he just does really good work. Everything he does, stellar, spot on, beautiful. Uh, and I got into the this, this story run because of Capullo, more than anything. So it just kind of fell at the same time that the whole Dark Knight 3 Master Race was coming out and some other stuff was coming out, but it's kind of weird for me, at least. Um, for all of you big Batman fans out there, anybody who's been reading a ton of the comic books, anything that they put out, I'm having kind of a hard time with it right now. And I'm probably going to do, uh, at the beginning of the new year, a, a big review on... Batman as it stands right now, but we'll start off with Capullo's. Um, this, I'm really liking the new villain, Mr. Bloom. That's one big thing. Capullo's artwork is the second big thing. Minus that, though, I'm having a problem with still the whole... Uh, hopefully it's leading up to him getting rid of Babbitt, and I don't, uh, you know, Bruce Wayne is still figuring things out. Commissioner Gordon's still doing what he's doing. As far as just an off-the-cuff reaction to where this comic book is and where it's going, I want to see them get back to basics. I want to see the Batman back. The Commission needs to go back and do his own thing. They need to get rid of Babbitt and elaborate a little bit more on Mr. Bloom. He seems to be a really cool character. This I thought was coming to a, a, a big arc ending, but they just led into something else. The writing is excellent, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's it's real, really well written, but I don't know. It's just missing something for me. I will continue with it because I've now invested myself, and I'll probably go back and buy more Batmans, especially pre-52, but it's kind of weird how it stands right now. Now, Batman Europa. <laughs> the old bait and switch. I hate this. I absolutely hate it when companies do this. You got me hooked in because my man Jim Lee was doing the first one, uh, Europa number one, Batman. Okay. Um, it started off seeming like an interesting story. You know, the Batman and the Joker have to work together to save themselves, basically. But you throw in a different artist in the second one, and the artist is okay. The color is terrible. It's just... Maybe he literally did do it in watercolor at the studio or wherever they're making this comic book from, but it just... It doesn't read well. It's all over the place. The words are all over the place. The color's throwing it off. I don't like it when this happens. I really don't. I wanted this Europa issue because of Jim Lee. That's why I bought number one. Thankfully, it's only two of four here, so two more to go. But when I'm saying it that way, you kind of know it's, you know... It's got a mildly interesting plot just because of what's going on with, with Batman and the Joker. The, the fact that they're forced to be together, but it's just... I don't know. It's its a rough one. I'll, I'll get through the other two issues, but this art is just... I don't like that. It's just my personal opinion. If you're going to start off with an artist and you're going to tell us it's a four-issue run, stick with that. I wanted it because Jim Lee did it. No one else. So, who knows what they're going to do with the other two issues. Are they going to be a different artist for every issue? That's the problem with this kind of stuff. You have to go to the internet and you have to do research after research. There's a thousand different comic books coming out a week. 
it's impossible to do research on every single thing that you're you're getting into. So that just kind of hurt the the whole premise of the comic book for me personally. So now, with that said, moving into Dark Knight Three: The Master Race. Frank Miller is a pretty good writer. I don't think he is as good as we've built him up to be in the last 20-something years. The first Dark Knight series took everybody by storm. It's hailed as one of the best comic books, graphic novel stories ever. It's being almost copied or mirrored imaged in the new Batman vs. Superman movie that's coming out. You know, that is slightly the premise of the story, is the Dark Knight Returns series. With this one, it's, it's weird because it's supposed to be set in one time frame for how Frank Miller has it set up. But this time frame seems to change every time he puts out a, a new one of these series. So now by the Dark Knight 3, instead of sticking with the original format from the 1980s, now everybody has cell phones and a lot of the, the jargon at the very beginning is forced. Two people are talking to each other in text format on a cell phone and it seems forced. It seems just... I had to go back and reread it a couple of times, going, what am I missing? Why are they speaking this way? And then it turns out that it's text. But it just doesn't work all that well. The, the jargon is funky. I don't know. The series is going to have to go a long ways. Um, I think this is supposed to be three? Three comic books that are coming out? But now here's the mass hysteria about this. Now that we've gotten over the hype of, of Dark Knight 3, the Master Race, the Dark Knight coming back, the Frank Miller story coming back, now that we've gotten over this first initial hit from it, everybody's going completely nuts, and it's not good. I'm at the comic book store the other day. I already had this one in hand. Somebody comes up to me and says, Hey, you're into the Dark Knight. Why don't you buy this one? It's the exact same cover as this one, just in black and white, and he wanted to sell it to me for ten dollars. I'm not into it, man. I'm I'm really just a variant cover every now and then is cool. This is just absurd. I, I what do they got? Like twenty different variant covers for this comic book. Everybody's got their exclusive. It's getting out of control. And if anybody remembers at all. 1989 and 1990, in that time frame, in comic book history, this is one of those downward slides that scares me personally, because I was there for the, the bottom dropping out of the comic book industry. It's ignorant things like this that help contribute to that. 20 different variant covers, people jacking up the prices, trying to sell them to you for 10, 15 bucks. We're going to be in trouble here pretty soon, whether you know it or not, if we keep doing this. We're going to go through the exact same thing that happened circa 1992, 1993, when the, the bottom completely dropped out of the industry. That's what scares me. And that's what scares me about them bringing back comic books like this, is because it's unchecked and unregulated. They're going crazy. How many different variant covers do you need to one comic book story? So far, a subpar comic book story. I don't know. It's it's my opinion, but I lived through it the first time when everything went bad with comic books. And it went bad so much that we almost completely lost the industry. I mean, we had 10, 15,000 comic book shops across the country in 1992. And then by the end, when the bottom dropped out, we maybe had 1,000 across the country. Uh, Everybody closed their doors. I don't know. That's kind of something... That's a rant I'll get into later. But just to let you know, they're going to be forcing this on you heavy. It's Dark Knight crazy right now. It's getting ridiculous. It's getting out of hand. Me personally, I'm not going to buy into it. I'll finish this story arc off and see where it goes from there. Maybe do a review on it. But, you know, I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get way into this. It's just, it's dangerous. Whoa, 
Sorry, I went into a rant there. Uh, had to had to catch myself. Anyway, I will catch you guys on the next episode of Comic Book Quiz and Art. Have a good one. Today we're gonna do an off the cuff, and with this off the cuff, it's kind of uh, actually themed. Just ended up being this way. Batman came out this uh, a couple of different Batman costume costumes. Motherfuck. Costumes. Fucking costumes. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Hello, YouTube, Uncle. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? I got the giggles.